The MCIRC initiative for the community is truly a community partnership that provides service to people in crisis at the right place at the right time. And it ensures that those people who require the assistance are provided with continual service and support throughout their recovery program. It originally started as an effort to improve our response to responding to those in crisis in our community. And real, truly this is a healthcare issue and what we were looking for was a community response to this. And uh, to do so, we, we partnered with uh, two great organizations, St. Leonard's Community Services and the Brand Community Healthcare System. Primarily the outcomes that we were looking for were uh, not only the improved response, um, which means an improved level of care, uh, for those in our community who are, we are responding to, but also uh, reduced wait times for our officers uh, in the hospital so they can be engaged in uh, more law enforcement activities. To do this, we've uh, in this partnership, what we've done is we've actually uh, been able to facilitate having a mental health expert partnered with one of our officers uh, responding to those calls in our community where we find people in crisis. Prior to the inception of our team, uh, police only had one option, which was to take individuals in crisis to the Brantford General Hospital to get assessed by a mental health nurse or an attending physician. When we arrive at a, a crisis scene in the community, I'm able to provide a mental health statics exam on scene, and from that we determine whether or not they need to go to BGH to have a mental health assessment, or whether or not we can take them, divert them maybe to our community agency, uh, the crisis counselors at St. Leonard's, or if we need to take them to BGH for further services. We also do follow-ups for people we've already met with in the community and keep in touch with them and make sure they're connected to the right services and following through with the plan that we've helped them come up with. Our MCIRT team and uh, who are supported by our crisis counselors are the most passionate group of people that anyone is going to meet. And even internally, it is a very strong supportive partnership between the MCIRT team and our counselors who work hand in hand with each other. In the past, our organizations used to work very much independently in supporting uh, patients in crisis, whether it be in the community or once they arrived here at the emergency department at the Brantford General. Now by working together we can collaborate and provide them with the best options and the best support possible. It is important for communities like ours, a community of about 100,000 people, uh, not part of the Greater Toronto area, to get more involved directly with mental health, mental health initiatives. Our communities need to be able to pull all the resources together, find new partnerships, look at a more holistic approach to being able to deal with those in our community in crisis. And we, we know for a fact that this is a crisis not only in, in a community or provincial or national level, but mental health issues are a global issue and we need to be able to figure out how to deal with that global issue on the streets of our community. So it takes all of us to come together, all of us to work um, in partnership, all of us to look at this as a more holistic approach. They're police officers, we, we want them catching the real bad guys. We want them to uh, get the people that are driving drunk. We want them to get the, but if they're spending an inordinate amount of time and paperwork on a domestic dispute that um, is caused by an individual who needs psycho psychological help, then we need to divert that. We need to divert that away from the time on task for the police officers and their statistics will start to change and they've already shown that they're starting to change. So Chief Nelson came together and said, if we did this together, all of us benefit. In the healthcare, diversion, getting people out of the hospital that shouldn't be there and getting the people that should be there more time on task. It's a great way and a key innovative strategy when healthcare dollars are so limited to be able to partner with our community to look at delivering care in a unique and different way. Situational crises can occur um, with almost anybody in the community and the program like MCURT uh, is an opportunity for a mental health specialist to accompany the uh, police to the call um, and to help deal with uh, the situational crisis as it has arisen. We had a female who had to revive her husband after he dropped after having a heart attack. She performed CPR, brought him back to life, and for six days was traveling from Brantford to Hamilton and still attempting to work. She was stressed, confused, and worried about her husband as well as herself. We had devised a plan for her 
to reduce the amount of stress that she had so that she could help her husband who was in medical distress. I always thought I was strong, but that was more than I could deal with. After four, five days of no sleeping, no eating, going to the hospital 12 hours a day, it was too much. It was just too much. And, and then I called them. We talked for hours. They didn't rush. They didn't. So they did talk me right down. Everything was okay after that. It wasn't okay, but I could deal with it. Constable Savage called. Angie called. They were very concerned, and it was nice that they were concerned about me because the focus has always been on my husband, including my focus. Like every, all focus was on him. Probably for the last five years I've had real problems with my son. At least you know that there's somebody out there to help you. Before you're out, you're there by yourself. You're lost, you don't have any idea what to do. Being able to know, you can phone Jamie or Angie up anytime you want, say, look, this is what he's done today, or this is what's happening. And if, you know, if they spend just five minutes with you, it helps. Before you didn't have that. Just a mental health issue there. That's what he's having problems with. He's not a, before, he's, nothing was ever gonna get solved. Any public administration, uh, the unfortunate thing is that it all comes down to uh, the dollars and cents and the return on investment. And I can say from an agency perspective, this particular initiative, first and foremost, it's not only the partnership, but from a financial perspective, is one of the largest returns on investment that this community can experience. It goes without saying that the services are being more efficiently utilized, which is resulting in individuals receiving the support and care that they need without causing additional burden burden financially on the system. There's an immense amount of pride that I take in watching the, uh, the partners come together the way they have. Uh, our community has a reputation of being able to come into the sandbox and play together. This is going to be statistically, uh, but more importantly, the removing of the stigmas that are attached to the groups. This is going to be a game changer. Our community is going to be better served. There's going to be way more positive results. Families are going to stop getting broken up. Uh, the hospital is going to be, become even more efficient than it already is. The police services and the police themselves are going to be viewed in a different way. St. Leonard's is going to be moving the bar forward again on the social entity of, of who we are as human beings. And thank you and kudos to the partnership because I'm telling you, uh, we're going to see some really impressive results. This is just one of an, a number of initiatives in our community that are underway right now. And what's so exciting about these initiatives is that they are community initiatives. They involve a wide number of organizations in our community who partner for the betterment of those that we respond to. It doesn't matter what the situation is, it doesn't matter if it's responding to those who are at a high risk or those who are in, uh, find themselves in a mental health situation. Um, the response just gets better the more partners we add to the response. Well, in actual fact, uh, a lot of people might not know this, when Brantford put together its, its package, it was actually even more extensive than some of the other communities that we have uh, that have picked up the ball and started to go with it. So there has been mention uh, at the provincial level of how well Brantford has put its team together and, and the responses that it's getting. Anyone who has a loved one who's dealing with mental health, it's very important that you connect yourselves with services that are available in our community whether it be through St. Leonard's Community Services, the Brant Community Health Care System, or the local chapter of the Canadian Mental Health Association. There are a tremendous number of supports out there, and it's important that you be connected with them. I'd also encourage you to go on to the Brantford Police website um, and to look at uh, this video again, because uh, there's a lot of information here for you about what it is police services do when we respond to those calls. Our goal like the goal of everyone in this community is to have the best possible outcome for those who require a police response to whatever situation they find themselves in.